Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to make um, some chicken noodle soup from the rest of the noodles that I made the other day on the video. So it's just going to be a little pot, but it'll be enough for me and Troy. I'm going to um, I'm going to use canned chicken broth. And I have some chicken that uh, I have in the refrigerator that I had boiled and deboned that I'm going to use. And then I'll season it with some salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder. And uh, sometimes when I make chicken noodle soup, I add onion to it. And sometimes I don't. Well, today I've got a, a small yellow onion that came to about a cup of chopped onion. And I've already got it sautéed in just a dab of olive oil. I don't want it greasy, but I just wanted it moist enough that it would sweat it down. I'm going to get that. And then when I get my broth in, I'm going to add a little bit of my own freeze-dried red and green bell peppers. And uh, I'm going to add about two stalks of celery to it. And I'll show you all what all I put in it. But... Um, I'll get you over here to kind of see me getting stuff together because it's not a whole lot to it but to get the onions done and add the broth and let the bell peppers uh, rehydrate and then I'm going to add uh, also some cream of chicken soup to make it creamy. If I didn't have that I would just put heavy cream in it and a little bit of different flavorings that I'll tell you all about. So let me get the camera over here where y'all can see what's going on and uh, we'll get our soup going. And let me tell you something else before I do that. Troy had his stress test and the doctor called this morning and said he is stable. That was the doctor's word. So apparently he's not going to do anything. Um, he didn't find anything that he can do anything for. He is going to check to see if there was fluid around his heart. And we haven't had a call back on that yet. So we're still waiting. And I don't know what we'll do if they don't find something because something is wrong. It's not normal for him to get all out of breath when he tries to do something. But anyway, that's where we stand on that. And I am going to, probably from now until after Christmas, I'm going to go to doing videos on Thursday, Saturday, and Tuesday. So that's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But this one's coming out on Thursday is why I did it in that order. Uh, because I'm enjoying working. But it's hard to do every day when I'm working because they only work me four and a half hours a day and it's like four or five days a week. So I'm going to go to three days a week on videos for any be times I may sneak another one in. So be sure you hit that bell to know when I've uploaded another one or check every day because if I'm in the mood to make something that I think y'all need to see right now, I'll go ahead and upload it on the in-between days. But for sure, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I hope to goodness y'all keep watching and um, will stay with me. And maybe I'll, you know, maybe I can pick back up and, like I said, do some extras in, the, in between with a goodie for you to make for the holidays or something. I do appreciate all the viewers. I appreciate every time you watch and every time you comment. That makes it worthwhile for me because I like sharing with y'all. Now, y'all get your glass of tea and come on over here and sit down and we'll get this soup made. And, um... I'll give you a bite if you'll come to the door. Okay, I have chopped uh, two ribs of celery, which came to about a half a cup. And I'm going to get that in the pot. And I'm going to put uh, a little bit of my bell peppers in there. Red and green. I just like the color. I like the flavor too, but I really like the color that it adds. I'm going to break them just so they just snap like a piece of styrofoam, and I like them for a snack. They're just so good. You either like them or you don't, and I do. Okay, I'm going to get these in. Let them start rehydrating. I did deglaze the pan with about a fourth of a cup of white wine. And I'm fixing to add um, some chicken broth to it. I'm going to add a couple of cans and then we may add more. I'll just see. Okay, I'll let that heat up. I have um, 
some broth left from where I boiled that chicken. And see how it's real gelatiny like? I want to put this in there because this is going to make it just taste wonderful. Okay, I'm going to let that simmer down just a little bit. I'll add in a couple of tablespoons of onion powder and probably a teaspoon at least of garlic powder. That big old spoon don't want to go down in there. Well, I guess I'm guesstimate because I can't get my spoon in there good. And I'll add a little bit of garlic powder. You got to have garlic. Good garlic soup is good for making you get well when you're sick in the winter time. I am also going to add some salt and pepper to taste. Just got it all in here together. Let me get to know each other pretty good. Then I'm going to taste of it here in a minute and see um, what other flavors it needs in it. Sometimes I put some of my Vegeta in it, but that's a salty element, so I have to be sure that I don't have it too salty. But I'm going to let those peppers rehydrate and let that come up to a simmer. I'll finish seasoning it, and then I'll put my egg noodles in. So I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to mention this tip again in case some of y'all haven't watched one of the videos where I told you about it. If you'll take your celery and wrap it in tin foil and keep it in the refrigerator, it'll keep a month. It doesn't ruin or longer. But be sure that you wrap it back up real tight every, every time you get a stalk off of it or whatever. But this will keep your celery as well as anything in the whole world. So just a tip. Um, I don't know where I learned it, but I've shared it with a lot of people, and they've come back to tell me, I'm so glad you told me that. My celery doesn't ruin now. So just wrap it in foil, and it'll keep till you get ready to use it. I've got, I did add um, a half a teaspoon of uh, lemon pepper, and I've added about a cup of fresh Baby Bella mushrooms. And uh, I'll, I'll show you all a recipe card at the end because like I've told you before, I don't do recipes. I just put it in the pot and cook. So I'm having to measure as I go where I can tell you all exactly what I'm doing. But I'll uh, show you here in a minute what it looks like in the pot. And I may even add a few um, little green peas for color. I'm not sure. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But, and sometimes it's just the chicken and the broth and the noodles, but today I wanted to add some extra stuff to it because it sounded good to me. So I'll bring y'all back in a minute and show you what the soup pot looks like. Okay, it's, it's starting to simmer. I cut it down till I could get back over here. So I'm going to add my egg noodles, what I have left from the other day when I made homemade egg noodles for y'all. And I weighed them. It's about six ounces almost seven and I'm just going to put them in there and let them get uh, tender and then the soup will be ready. It looks and it smells so good. Okay let's let it simmer a little bit and then I'll dish a bowl of it up and show y'all what it looks like. Okay, I've got my noodles in, and um, I'm just letting it simmer till they kind of get tender. Just showing y'all as it goes along what it's doing. Here's our delicious soup, and let me just tell you, it's wonderful. It's got mushrooms and red and green bell pepper, lots of chicken, the homemade egg noodles, it's good. And I've got it all documented. I'm going to give y'all a copy of what I put in it and um, let y'all make you some for this little cool weather we've been having. Or if you're just feeling a little bit puny and under the weather, chicken soup makes you feel better. It's a good tonic. So y'all need to put this in your little book so you can make it when you just want some good soup or when you need a picker-upper. Kind of like a fixer-upper, huh? See, now y'all have another good recipe for this cool 
weather that we're going to have in Texas cool and a little bit cooler but never real cold. But some of y'all live where it's cold in Canada and up north. Oh my goodness, that's a world away for us. Write the recipe down and make you some good old homemade chicken noodle soup. And you can roll those egg noodles out with a rolling pin that I showed you one day this past week. And roll them thin and then just slice them and put them in your soup. And they're so much better. And you can add onion and garlic powder to your egg noodles. You can season them however you want to. There's another thing we do with them. We make windowpane egg noodles. And I'm going to do that with, for y'all before too long. They're pretty and oh my goodness, it adds so much flavor. I hope y'all have had a good day. We've had a good day. We went and voted. Did our duty. Some of those amendments I didn't understand anything about, but the main one was I do not want a state income tax. And to vote against it, you have to vote for the amendment that prohibits it. They worded it tricky. But I found out about the tricky before I went to vote, so I did my part to stop income. Now we have enough taxes. I don't want any more taxes. Um, I guess I won't get on that stump today. I'll choose something else. I hope y'all have had a good day. I hope you've planned a good meal for tonight. <clears throat> Fix something at that supper table. Doesn't have to be a log rolling meal. It can just be a sandwich. But being together is what makes it special. Spend some time with those babies and with your honey. Make every minute count. We're not promised the next minute. So you need to make them count. Y'all come back uh, Saturday. We'll have another something really good for you. And I might sneak something in in between. But right now, it's going to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for a while. Give me your comments. Let me know what you think about it. And um, come back those days and watch for me. And I'll appreciate it. The good Lord bless you.